Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Tyler and today we're going to be discussing the deep freeze, right? So the deep freeze is kind of like a term used for general reasons why your computer might freeze or um, your computer freezing up to a point to where you can't use it anymore. So it's like frozen. It's done. It's an ice cube, right? So if it gets that frozen, there are a couple things that we can do. But first, let's cover some of the reasons why your computer may have become frozen in the first place or completely freezed up on you. Okay. So a lot of the common reasons for computer freezing come down to simple things, right? It's like not restarting your computer as often as you should. So one of the first things you could do is you could restart your computer. That fixes a lot of issues in the tech world. We went over that in the last video about rebooting, when, why, when you should do it, um, why you shouldn't do it and the proper way to do it, right? So if you need to check that video out, go check out that video right now all about reboots, but reboots is one of the most common resolutions to many computer problems. So just rebooting your system might stop that freeze. The second reason that many computers freeze up is it's not actually the computer freezing up. It's the software or the program that you're running. So one of the most uh, simple ways or one of the simple ways to fix this uh, issue is to just update your software, keep your software up to date. Out of date software is going to cause number of issues, including uh, the application could, applications or programs that you're running could freeze, right? Freeze your computer up and now it crashes or just stops working. The screen completely freezes. Uh, so I'll do a really, really common, commonly used app, one that a lot of people use and that's Office, right? So I'm going to go into Word and I'm going to update my Office program because I happen to know that at the moment right now it's out of date. I've been kind of slacking on updating it. So check that. Um, so that's the second one, right? So we've got reboots and we've got software that might just need to be updated. Very common top two right there. Let's get to the third one, which is virus. Virus is also a very common cause of computer freezing or application freezing. So if you start to notice that you have um, freezing on your computer or your computer is freezing more than it should or more often than it was before, you could have contracted a virus. So um, I'm going to show here in the video again, something that can be done for that. Just a simple virus scan. So um, I'm not going to show how to scan from every single antivirus out there because there's many of them. Um, we recommend using Malwarebytes at this time because it's a great antivirus program. I will do some spot cleaning with that from time to time. But in the video, I'm just showing Windows Defender, which is typically my daily scan. I do a daily scan with Windows Defender. If I see any issues, I might quarantine, review them, see what was in there and then remove it. We actually have a video that goes into that too. Anyway, number four, we've got so, so far we've gone over reboots being one of the issues that can cause, um, you know, you haven't rebooted in a while. You just need to reboot. It's a simple one. Software being out of date and you just need to update it or virus. You could have a virus and you just need to do a virus scan. One of the other really common ones is that your computers might just not have everything plugged in properly. Like you might actually have loose uh, cables. I've seen that happen. I've seen somebody's monitor starting to freeze up and seem to glitch because of a loose cable connection. They thought it was their computer. Well, it was actually because that cable was loose. All they had to do was get that cable in nice and snug and they're good. The other thing that you can do is also to free up some space on your computer. Having a decent amount of free space on your hard drive, hard drive or solid state drive is really important. You want to make sure that you have sufficient enough space for future updates and that you're not running that drive too close to full, right? Or like 90% or anything like that. You want to make sure you have more drive space than you need. So if you have too much on your computer, too much junk, you could uninstall programs, which I'll show here. Um, uninstall on one programs. We kind of talked about that in other videos, which I'll post right there also. And then also the other thing that you could do is you could go into like disk cleanup and do some actual cleaning up of your computer. So I'm going to show what that looks like real quick on screen, a simple disk cleanup. You go in, you free up some of the space that you're not using. And now your disk has that increased room uh, performance will probably be improved and it could stop issues that you were having like freezing. So very simple. Top five right there. Reboot. Okay. Check to make sure that your software is up to date. Number two, number three, run a virus scan. Number four, 
check all your connections, make sure everything's plugged in correctly and looks good. And number five, you might need to do some cleaning on your computer, you might need to clean it up, right? So get rid of those old temporary files or things you're not using. That's it guys, that's five simple ways that you can fix computer slowness and screen freezing on your own. Thank you everyone and have a great day.